Good, Good morning. morning. It's an unbelievable morning. It, that is. That, yeah. <laughs> we're in Harvest Key, Belize. Uh, I've never been here before. First mm -hmm. time. We're ready to explore. I don't know a thing about it. I did a little bit of research. I know they have a giant talk. pool and there's the ocean and zip lining. Okay. Uh, beverage package does not work on the island. Ooh. I think the internet does. I'm not yeah, sure about food does. though. I'll have to go look. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're going to learn some stuff. <laughs> Speaking of food, we're going to grab some breakfast. I yep. guess we'll jump up to the local. The local. Okay. Yeah. Grab breakfast, head ashore, check this place out. Yeah. I'm excited to see what it's all about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you better believe it. Let's go. <laughs> well, the local food side was full. Let's see if we can cut through the local bar side back to indulge. The music is very calm in here today. I forgot about these croissant sandwiches I missed last time. I don't think I showed the full cereal selection last time either. There we go. You got a croissant sandwich, some fruit, and some yogurt. We got this big old tablet on the table, but I got enough space over here. I also got a croissant sandwich, a McMuffin sandwich, fruit, and yogurt. Did I call it McMuffin? Whatever. English muffin sandwich. No branding here. Party time! <laughs> Whoa! Hey now, first thing we see stepping off the ship is lots of large jellyfish. I think that's gonna be a pool day, guys. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, there's at least a dozen. Oh, look out there. Nope, there's more than a dozen. Those are the stingy kind, too. Oh, yeah. All right, well, they've got golf cart transportation. It does look like a rather long pier, but I think we're okay to hoop it. There's another little peek at our ride and the hull art. Yeah, so carts to the left, walking to the right, jellyfish to the extreme right. Oh, yeah, let's gaze and bask. We've almost made it to the end of this gargantuan pier. Long. There's a little beach over there. We will W Jellyfish Beach until we learn some real words. <laughs> What's a teeny tiny little fish up here in the shallow in the mangroves? Something just made a big splash <laughs> behind me. Oh, sir, you are very loud over here. Hopefully you're having a nice, um, yeah. I'll say lunch, because it's actually closer to lunchtime now. Yeah. They are like violent when they jump in the water. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, oh, gotcha. pause for the cart traffic. <laughs> We've made it to the entry plaza. Hey, soul sister, ain't that Mr. Mister? Hmm. Nice little cooling mist as we enter. So we got check-in for wave runners and cabanas and whatnot. There's a large directional sign, or I could just call somebody. Oh, cool little shopping village. I see some photo ops. There's a Harley store. Official gift shop of Harvest. Uh, looks like we're probably heading toward pools, restaurants, and bars. Hmm. We've got chocolate. We've got rum cocoa. So that's the path to the beach. Looks like the pool is in this direction. This will probably be the popular spot of the day. It's warm. I could use a refresh. It's very warm, yeah. Whoa, this pool is gigantic. Let's learn about our pool rules. All right, fairly standard stuff. Day beds, cabanas. This is the nice little zero entry section. <laughs> Ooh, we made it all the way over to the beach. They got zip lining over there. Most of the chairs by the pool seem to be occupied. We may just kind of grab a chair in this zone between the beach and the pool. Lighthouse? Dang! Let us check out this beach situation. So very coarse sand. Ooh, I do see some grassy areas. Maybe not too much in the way of rocks. We're making our way over toward this kind of rocky area because that looks like the best zone for snorkeling. Maybe it gets a little deeper out here. A little Superman zipline excitement. That's fun. A little stirred up out here. The initial reports are not very good visibility from Mermaid D. Really shallow over there too. <laughs> we can just sit here and have an unbelievable spin. So, I didn't see any sort of map of the property, but at least the little guideposts, I guess, make it seem as if maybe there's one main beach, which we are currently on, and one main pool, which was gigantic, 
didn't really see any free um, chairs at the pool. We were a little late to the game today. We went back to the cabin after breakfast and had a work NATO descend upon us, but it's about noon now. Can't really see anything. I figure. It's okay. It probably changes depending on the conditions. True. Yeah. Oh, nice big beach though. Yeah. I'm not sure what this little extra section of beach out past, like if you were to go past the wave break, that's probably like super cool, awesome zone over there. Haven? Yeah, that kind of thing. Haven? I don't know. Well, I think we are going to go hop in the pool maybe and see where the party is. Yeah. <laughs> A little foot washy excitement. Oh, we can come right in here on the zero entry. Well, this feels more like my zone. All right, I can deal with this. Oh, there's like a little waterfall. <laughs> so there's like 60 and a half hundred folks out here. So I don't know how much pool content we'll record, but we're going to enjoy this pool. Oh, D has found a ledge. Yes. It's a low ledge. It's our happy zone. Oh, low enough to keep your uh, most of your body in the water. I like that. All right, well, as long as you don't feed, touch, or disturb the wildlife, we're all good. I won't. Is there any behind me? <laughs> ah! It looks like about the deepest water we've found so far is four feet. I think we'll go on a mission. So this is not really like the traditional, I mean, you don't really refer to this as a private island, I guess, but there's no food or drink necessarily included when you're here on the island. This so we'll float over to this bar and grill and at least look at the menu options. All right, the tunes bumping. It's getting a little shallow over here. Yeah, so the water here at the bar area is about three feet deep. We'll take a gander down the menu here. We've got some music blaring, but we'll try to do it as best we can. On the other side, we've got food options. It looks like everything is cash only here. Not sure if they even take a ship card. I think I saw people paying in cash. So. Ah, we'll float our happy booties back out here to the four foot water. Yeah, I didn't even think to bring any sort of card, cash, anything in the pool, but good to know. <laughs> we saw people paying with credit cards and cash. Yep. Oh my goodness, we found a shady ledge. All right, this is our new home. <laughs> so the other one got a little sunny. So, oh yes. These are nice. I like how deep they are. Like, okay. If you need to find us, this is where we'll be. <laughs> well, we have thoroughly pooled ourselves. I guess we'll go ahead and hop out. Hey, they got a lift right there to get folks in too, but the zero entry, all stairs, lifts, that's cool. Well, I've got a little bar here called the Absolute Belize Bar. There's a little peek at their giant menu on the wall. So from that bar, we will just head right back over here to the beach where our stuff is. And then uh, I guess we'll have to use this nice little foot wash again once we get out. Well, goodbye, pretty beach. Let's see what else we can explore on this island and learn quickly. And there's the land entrance to the old bar and grill. We've got a Bacardi bar right there. Nice little ride you can grab if you need one. So what have we not seen? Laughing bird, horse eye jack, splash pad. Got a little beach rental area. Cute, there's the splash pad zone. I wanna go play in that. So that's an employees only building. Oh, this looks to be taking us up to the other restaurants. All this squeaky tour footage. So this is the Laughing Bird Bar and Grill. So no prices on the menu, but hey, there's a peek at what they've got. Oh, this is that other section of beach I was wondering about. Now they have a specific thing that says beware of stingrays. So Shuffle your one. feet. Oh, I yeah, missed I that. So another little swimmy zone. It's green flagged today, but they don't have like the little um, inflatable thingamajigs out there. Wait for it. Yeah, that thing. <sighs> There's the flight house where the uh, zip lining takes off from. <laughs> Ooh, they got cool little cabana houses down here with hammocks. That looks like where they'd keep their knees if, you know, we rented one of these. <laughs> oh, this is Horse Eye Jack Bar and Grill. Okay, down here at the far end. There's a little taste of what they got going on. Fancy. This looks like this might be about the end of the road That's down here. Beach. Gotcha, yeah, this is private beach, villas, and things like that. Right, we've made the turnaround now to squeak our way back toward the ship. Oh, people are doing like kayaking over there. Kind of in a mangrove zone. Ooh, could be manatees. There there's could be manatees. There's the ship. Way, way, way over there. <laughs> we can learn about trees and nature and things. 
golf carts. Oh, they have a wildlife? Little toucan. Yeah, I just noticed this area that goes into the thing saying wildlife experience. Well, let's see what we can experience. I'm experiencing lots of shade, lots of mist, which um, I appreciate. Blue morpho butterflies. There's quite a few folks in there. Owl butterflies. What is all this? Boa constrictor. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, he's up in the corner. Oh, look at all that glare. Oh, let's look at you like this. Is the mist hurting the camera? No, the mist is doing okay. Okay. Wait, there's manatees on this sign. Well, they're number not. eight. Where's number eight? I think they're just teaching you about. Well, you know what? I don't know. Yeah, I guess that whole thing is the butterfly um, cage area thing, enclosure. Oh, I see a parrot statue up here. Oh, there only one? I don't oh, know. There's one back there. Okay, two can up there. There's one there, one there. Well, two can play at this game. <laughs> Guys, listen to all these animals hidden in this rock speaker. Wow, a green iguana. Oh, hello, friend. <laughs> Scarlet macaw. Okay, she's down here with the macaw. The other one is hiding all the way in the butt. Wow. Also, yeah, they have a big two. enclosure. <laughs> Beautiful. Must be snack time. <laughs> and that, I guess, is the exit. Nice. Well, let's flip back around. Uh, we'll go back out. Well, here's a splash pad. Uh, we'll go back out the way we came. Look at all this hangy moss. I like it. it. Looks like the butterfly house is still a little crowded. So, crowded house, don't dream it's over. That's the end of the park here. That was cool. Back out into the shopping village world. Got manatee bar over there. This looks like a big stage in the middle. Maybe they do yeah. some presentations or something from time to time. Come over past the manatee bar. This might be like a marina or something. Looks like people are getting back from tours. We're just trying to see a manatee. I don't think that's a thing. Look, they have noses. Well, granted, we've seen them in Belize before. Yeah. I saw the sign. Let's head back through the security zone out to the pier. There's the old cart loading zone. Here's the squeak walking zone. Ooh, we got the old face towels up here. Towel exchange and water. And welcome home. We have stopped back by the cabin to get into some dry clothes and now it is time to investigate a late lunch. Hello again, local. Oh, well, we've got some outside seating available. Well, we get to overlook one of the drop zones of the dry slide and a little bit of oceanness. Well, this menu should be something that we've seen before. We got most of our lunch foods over there. Lunch and dinner is very similar. I guess this is what they call the all day menu. We have started our meal off with pretzel bites, of course. We love those things. And the soup of the day was seafood gumbo. The main D has gone chicken salad sandwich. And I have got a blue cheese burger. You know, my weakness as my kryptonite blue cheese. Woohoo! Good evening. Good evening. We are in fresh and clean mode, mm -hmm. as it were, because we are going to not dinner. Not yet. No, we've got a show first. We're doing this weird thing where it only let us book early shows. So we're kind of eating late lunches and late dinners. Yeah, we're making it work. It's all right. Yeah, so tonight's show is Noise Boys. It's from the same writers, I think, as Choir of Man. From what I understand. Okay. Once again, you can't see it. You're you can't not record. Watch it. No I pictures. Know. Norwegian. <laughs> Nothing. We get, get no it. evening content because you can't we watch can't the shows. We can't show anybody. That's so you just have to book the cruise yourself. So. Maybe that's the point. <laughs> Maybe, actually. <laughs> so we're going to go hang out a little mm -hmm. bit, line up for Noise Boys, dinner after that. Who knows we'll what See what we can get into the rest of the night. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Okay. <laughs> We will just hang out here at the Penrose, just off the atrium, till it's time to line up for seats. You know, they have snacks here at this bar. Now these pale in comparison to those giant corn nuts we got on Escape, but I mean it looks pretty good for free bar snacks. We are coming into the theater officially for Noise Boys. 
Oh, they got some seats down that are like chairs and barrels and tables on the side, in addition to, of course, the theater-style seating. That's a cool-looking industrial-style set. If you want to take pictures, well, I won't tell anyone. Just make sure those flashes are switched off. And please refrain from filming videos. Let's keep this party live every night. Well, we are done with the show. We're going to see if we can wander back and get some food. Hello, Hudson's. Ooh, no line, no waiting. All right. Lovely. Well, it is the same menu we had last time, but you know what? I'm so used to showing the menu. <gasps> Let's do page two from the bottom up. Oh, my gosh. Can your brains process it? Oh. I think the only thing that changed since last time is this was an upcharge prime rib, and now it's an upcharge carne asada. Interesting. Our bread for the evening includes some seedy-looking stuff right there, some crunchy, crusty looking stuff, and of course, we've got the butter. for dessert tonight. We are too full. I always forget how big Norwegian's portions tend to be. And the food is all really good, so we eat it all. We got to get out of this dining room. Ooh, we are making our escape. Oh, that was good. <laughs> Oh, we've come out to Metropolitan now to kill some time. We're hoping to make it into Sid Norman's for a show a little later on. Look at that banding. And we are sitting here having a couple of refreshing watermelon twists. There's a chili liquor in it, and there's also a really spicy chili uh, salt. I have eaten half of my chili salt, and oh my gosh, the regret. It's very spicy. It is very spicy. But it's yellow in the picture. Oh. Yeah, the drink itself is not terrible. It's the chili salt that'll get you. Ooh, my face is a little red right now because this is spicy. It's good, though. You should give this a try, but ooh, be prepared for some burn. So next up, we are hoping to catch the same group that we saw. Oh, they do a uh, Fleetwood Mac show, but tonight they're doing what they call their Side B. The first set we saw was Side A. They're actually wrapping that up in there now, and they're getting ready to release and then reset and come back with a new set. Well, the other show ended at 9.30. They did boot everyone out of the venue, but we are first in line for seats for the next show. Which is an hour show. That's true. Well, the doors have opened. We are first in. Let's see where D gets us. Whoa, front and center. Why not, right? We are so close. We can get a peek on what the set list is going to be for the next, you know, set. This is side B. Let's see. What are we? What are we going to hear? Oh, y'all, read fast. I can't read upside down. Help. <laughs>
we have come back to the cabin to find our paper for tomorrow on the bed and of course a time change notice that we are going from central time ahead an hour to eastern time tonight good night that's right it is <laughs> night i was gonna say evening no it's night it has progressed past that now yeah we are back in the cabin mm -hmm. we are going to bed especially because we're losing an hour which means <sighs> it's not like 11 30 it's like midnight 30. Yeah, late uh, anyway let's back it up okay. what do we got to talk about uh first we saw the show uh noise boys true which there happened to be girls in it it was a little Hamilton-esque at one point oh, with the rapping, the rapping and stuff. Uh, the beatboxing was phenomenal. Yeah. The tapping is so hard and so good. I loved it. Every bit of it, honestly. I did too. I'm a, per yeah. I'm a fan of percussive performances, yeah. shall we say. The beatboxing <laughs> alone made that worthwhile. That was a really good show. Yeah. And I think like it's good for the whole family. Like I, thought, I saw younger generations really enjoying it. And um, I was the parents were enjoying it, it too. So, I'm yeah, a younger you generation. Look at me. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. Dinner was stellar. Yep. Like, um, I had I didn't the, have a bad bite. Okay. No, no, the California roll was amazing. Mm. And my, when I get mahi mahi, that yeah. was really, Everything really good. Everything I had was good. Everything was and good. And we didn't even have room for dessert. Norwegian food is on yeah. point at all times, honestly. We've never had, like, bad Norwegian food. We'll and the portions remember. are huge. Right. Only get one app if you want dessert. Yeah. I don't know. That's we just... didn't eat dessert. <laughs> Huh. We're too full. And then Sid Norman's, which we actually got to record. They so, are you know. so good. I see why Sid Norman's is so popular. Definitely get there early. We got there like an hour early and got Ooh. one of the front row seats. Those um, are fast. But their harmonies are so on point, and they've been together for a while. You can tell it was mm. it was so good. Love it. Yeah. So yeah. that was the second acoustic set, mm -hmm. or side B, as they called it. Remember yeah. cassettes and records that had a side B? <laughs> no. Anyway. <laughs> Um, but I'm glad not, we could film that. I know. Because the shows we can't film. So we can show you a little bit of, of things on Evening the Evening entertainment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So bedtime now. Sleepy time. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night.